you guess what that sound is? Is it a rooster? Yeah! It's a rooster's crow! If we lived on a farm, then we would hear that sound every morning. Probably way earlier than we would want to get up. I live in NYC, which is pretty far away from any farm. But I've always been curious about what it's like to live on a farm. Especially in the morning when the rooster crows and there is so much going on and so much to do and see. So... My friend Chloe just so happens to be visiting her family's farm. And she's so cool that next time we're together, she's going to video call with us to share some things about life on the farm in the mornings. So, in preparation for Chloe, I thought I would make a full-scale, just kidding, tally-scale, model of a farm and all the creatures and things I imagine there. What I need first is a big piece of cardboard that will be the ground of my farm. Got it! Now I need something sticky that will help me stick farm creatures and farm things to the ground of my farm. What could I use? How about glue? Oh, yeah! Glue! Mom! Dad! Can I use the glue? Got it! Ooh, this is gonna be so awesome! I feel like doing a little farmhouse buggy. You wanna join me? so excited doing the farmhouse buggy that I got glue all over my cardboard. Oops. I mean, the ground where my Cali-sized farm was gonna go. Now everything is gonna stick to it. What am I gonna do? I gotta think about this while we check out our Bible story. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Matthew chapter 26. While Jesus, God's son, was on earth, he did so many amazing things. He healed people who were very sick. He gave comfort to people who were sad and lonely. And he taught everyone about God. But that wasn't all. Very soon, Jesus would die so that everyone in the whole world would be saved from sin and death. Jesus told his close friends and disciples exactly what would happen and how. He even told them that he was going to be arrested and all of them would leave him. Peter, one of Jesus' friends, could not believe it. He told Jesus that there was no way that he would ever leave Jesus even if everyone else did. But Jesus told Peter that was true. And Peter would tell people that he didn't even know Jesus. Not once, not twice, but three times. And then a rooster would crow. <laughs> Peter still thought no way he would ever do that to his teacher and friend. But that would be a very dark day. Then it happened, just like Jesus said it would. Jesus was arrested and things got really bad, really fast. Everyone was against Jesus. They shouted at him and hurt him. Peter was watching nearby and people started to ask if he was a friend of Jesus. Peter was afraid that the people would hurt him too. So, just like Jesus said, Peter told them that he was not Jesus' friend. He told them that he didn't even know him. Remember, Jesus told Peter that when this all happened, a rooster would crow. When Peter heard the rooster crow, he was very, very sad. Peter knew he turned away from Jesus, even though he promised he wouldn't. He thought that when things got dark, he would stick with Jesus, but he didn't. As soon as the day became dark and scary, he left Jesus. Peter would never make that mistake again. Later on, Peter became one of the main people who traveled everywhere to tell people about Jesus. He faced some really hard times. Even though he didn't do it on the day Jesus was captured, Peter learned, I can stick with Jesus when my day is dark. Whoa, that story was intense. It made me think about my Cali-sized farm. I thought it was ruined when I got glue all over it. But that just means more things can stick to it. Just like I can stick with Jesus when my day is dark. Let's see how many farm things and creatures I can fit on my farm. That was so much fun. I can't wait to show my Cali-sized farm to Chloe. She is gonna love it. 
I'm glad I stuck with it, even after the glue got all over it, and I thought it was ruined. I stuck with it just like Peter chose to stick with Jesus after that really dark day. Now, I can tell Chloe the story of how I made this farm, and I can remind her that... I can stick with Jesus when my day is dark! It's early! But I'm up! If you're ready, stand up! Clap, clap, clap! Tap, tap, tap! You got it! Clap, clap, clap! Tap, tap, tap! I'm starting my day early with all my friends. The sun is still hiding, so let's begin to play and dance. Let's hold hands! Gather around, my friends. It's never too early to let the fun begin.